Tony and Casey's Best of Food and Wine on Smooth and Easy. See aisle 650. Welcome back to the Best of Food and Wine. I'm Tony Gizmondi. I'm Casey Wilson. If you read the Vancouver Sun this morning, which I'm sure you all do, right? First thing on Saturday. We do. Looked at the wine selections. One of the wines in the sun today we're going to taste right now. So you can come over and say, you're full of baloney, Gizmondi. <laughs> I don't Or you so. can say, great selection. Our next guest uh, joins us to talk about it. Michele Bernetti is the owner of Umani Ranki. Yes. Great to have Welcome. you here. Thank you very uh, much. It's a great old brand. You've been in the market quite a long time. Uh, but I think now things are really taking off for you in, in Italian yes. wine. Definitely, I think is uh, good afternoon, and um, yes, it's it's um, it's quite positive moment because there is uh, definitely growing interest on the local varietals, on the yeah. indigenous Italian varietals, and definitely I think is Verdicchio is ever yeah. one of the real important why. You, you know, one of the things I like to say to you is that we we, we spent 20 years learning about wine, <laughs> varietal wine, all of us, and we were drinking Cabernet and Chardonnay and Sauvignon and really studying, and now I think we're ready. Before, we weren't ready to drink Verdicchio. Now we have a market that's fully ready and understands wine and wants to try different wines. So I think it's a great time to uh, bring wines like that to us. So let's start with Umani Ronchi. Where is it yeah. what, uh, w situated for us? Okay, it's Umani Ronchi is the name of, uh, of actually the founder whose family name was uh, Umani Ronchi. My grandfather from my mother's side uh, went in partnership uh, in the late 60s and uh, we bought out the company because Mr. Umani Ronchi left, to, left the business basically. Yeah. And uh, so I represent the third generation and we are, uh, we, we are located in the Marque region which is this uh, uh, actually, the, the New York Times made two years ago a beautiful article, and the, the title was Italy's Best Kept Secret. So uh -huh. the secret is Great. located <laughs> yeah. by the Adriatic, uh, basically across Tuscan, across Umbria, on, yeah. the, on the eastern part of Italy. Uh, we grow about, um, I, th I think, maybe the major variety, the major appellations are Verdicchio, of course. The mm -hmm and uh, Verdicchio di Iesi and Verdicchio di Matelica and the Rosso Conero, which is a small uh, DOC by the Adriatic, by the sea. Okay, so we're going to start. You, you actually brought two Verdicchio with you. Yeah. So uh, <laughs> let's talk about the grape and then the two wines. Yeah, Verdicchio is, um, is a grape that is um, actually uh, basically cultivated just in the market. And uh, even if the... the, the uh, the Trebbiano di Lugana is um, apparently the same varietal, the same grape, the same uh -huh. clone of uh, this fantastic grape that is uh, quite, um, sometimes quite productive, but probably in this region has found uh, the ideal place uh, with, with uh, soils that are quite rich of clay. And uh, for this reason, uh, even in, uh, in uh, difficult vintages when it's, for instance, is quite warmer, uh, the clay retains a bit of humidity of water and yeah. uh, we, we are able to mix wine that are fantastic because they are quite fresh full rich but at the same time with the good acidity yeah. which is uh, sometimes i think i don't know you hear the word verdicchio and you think the wine is skinny but it's not <laughs> a skinny wine it's a, it's quite a it has <laughs> nice richness to it it's quite rich and uh, actually the, the skin is quite thick in effect uh, if, if we think you know but is um, on the grape you mean on, on the grape but yeah. of course the wine has this beautiful um, I cannot say creaminess, but there's a kind of uh, yeah. richness. Yeah, it has um, the texture. It's a wine that has an incredible aging potential. Probably, I think, in, in Italy, it's probably the, the, the variety with the, the, the most important uh, capacity of uh, aging, aging very well. And uh, this honey character is really brought out when we spend some time in the bottle. Yeah. Uh, we recently tasted, uh, we did a vertical tasting a few weeks ago, and we started from 99. Uh, after the Plenio, which is the Verdicchio Reserva, and that yep. was amazing. And people attending the tasting was really amazed by this. So it's a bit like Semillon in the bottle. It starts mm -hmm. to fatten up a bit and get a bit richer with time. Absolutely. It's a wine that needs a bit of bottle. And, uh, yeah. and, uh, and uh, in fact, it's quite fun that I sometimes when I taste the wine abroad in, uh, in, uh, in counties that are quite far away, I taste and I, I quite like the wines more than when I taste at home because really? at home I. I grabbed the bottle out of the warehouse. Yes. <laughs> and maybe it was bottled a few days, a few weeks ago right. before. 
And, uh, and when I taste the broad, the one has, uh, has spent some time in the bottle, has developed, this verdicchio has developed, yeah. uh, as I say, complexity, basically, that is sometimes. Is it a difficult grape to grow? It's uh, quite uh, difficult because in some, in some cases, it's, it's quite late maturing varietal. We, we, we harvest between the end of September and the beginning of October. And um, the, the, the bunch is quite tight. And uh, so in the very wet vintages, it keeps the humidity inside. And uh, mm -hmm. this sometimes can, can be, be a bit a dangerous, yes, for, yeah. the, for the But Other than that, is, uh, is I think it's vintage like 2014 that was quite wet. We made fantastic quality. So I think it's, 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 it's great grape to grow. Our guest is uh, Michele Bernetti. He's the owner of Umani Ronchi. We're tasting, we're actually tasting two uh, Verdicchio. So we just had the the Casal de Sierra, mm -hmm. which, uh, uh, as I say, was in the paper this morning. But widely available in British Columbia for seventeen ninety nine. Another yeah. uh, fantastic price when you think about it. Uh, we didn't mention maybe what the what we could eat with. Uh, what, what would you have for dinner? Or what would you serve with it? Quite obvious, I would say some uh, shellfish or uh, yes, that would be uh, very of course, good. Which, which is I think it's. It's a fantastic Maybe even lobster, eh? A lobster or something. Uh, but, but I think uh, this kind of wine, I think they go very well with um, some uh, recipes like fish that cook in the oven. Uh, sometimes in, uh, yeah. at home we do with uh, potatoes and uh, a bit of tomatoes. Yes. And uh, wow. with olive oil. And uh, I think it has really the, 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 the richness, richness to, 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 to... Yeah, to embrace all yeah. that. Yeah. Okay, tell us about this. So the second wine is a single vineyard Verdicchio? Yes, exactly. From a, a specific site? From a specific place, which yeah. is um, uh, a hill uh, located at 450, almost 500 meters above the sea level. It's, one of the, it's, it's the highest elevation in the Verdicchio di Iesi area. And um, also the appellation is a, is a reserva category, which is uh, really one of the few white wines to, in Italy to have the reserva category, which is... Uh, Wow. normally related to red wines and um, it's a wine that is um, for percentage which is around 60 percent aged surly on the lees for in concrete tanks and 40 percent in large cask the the botti which are quite neutral but they they add a little bit of complexity to the wine that i think make the wine very elegant very fine uh, a super uh, white wine, I think. It feels like you've experimented a lot at the winery with We, we did, uh, and in effect, uh, this wine has changed uh, in the style quite much. We started in 95 for the first vintage. Uh, at the time, it was 100% barrel fermented. And, um, and then we did some travel, and uh, one uh, travel was very important. We made in Alto Adige. We noticed that there was a lot of many producers using uh, aging white wines, like Pinot Bianco, for instance, yeah. yes. in, the, in the large cask, in the big cask made yeah. by... Austrian uh, oak or yeah, Slavonian, Slavonian oak, and, yep. and we decide to, to bring in in the Vatican, and we find a very good balance, yeah. I, think, I think. I like the concrete too. Mm. I think it also adds a component to the wine. There's a creaminess and a richness from that uh, without any oak influence too. So it's, uh, but it's quite a big wine. Powerful. And this is in uh, such a dark bottle for a white wine. Well, it's because it's wine that is, uh, in our opinion, is meant to age and yeah. it's meant to last for many years. And I think the, 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 the so dark that bottle that will protect, protect it. Uh, to yes. protect the yeah. The wine pretty well. Very good. The Reserva Plenio? Why do you call it Plenio? Plenio is, is because uh, from the Latin uh, plenum, plenum, which is yeah. full. Uh, so exactly yeah. like you say when you taste it. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, exactly. To me, the, the, the full body, full character of the wine. And uh, just for consumers, the Castelli di Iesi, the, the mm -hmm. is, how do you explain that on the label? Castelli di Iesi is, uh, is, a, is like uh, the Castelli Romani <laughs> concept. Uh, I try yeah. to go to compare, which means basically Yezi is a village, which is the uh, at the center of the valley where Verdicchio grows, and the okay. Castelli are the castles uh, that are, uh, because all the little villages on the hills surrounding the city of Yezi are surrounded by ancient walls, and from uh, from far away they look like castles. Okay. So this is the Castelli di Yezi, Yezi oh, castles, hills. that's so okay. good. Yeah, perfect explanation. Yes. <laughs> that's great. Okay, uh, and the final wine, which I haven't seen in a while, so let's catch up with this Conero Reserva. Yes, the Conero is a, it's first of all, it's a beautiful mountain. It's the, it's probably really the place in the market region, uh, the place to go is this beautiful mountain that uh, is straight over the Adriatic. It, it dives basically into the water and it creates a very particular microclimate. It's a mm -hmm. kind of, sometimes I used to say that it's a kind of a drop of Monte Pulciano 
uh, in, a, in a sea of Sangiovese, which is usually to be dominating the, the planting in the, in the market region. So there is, in this little place, uh, traditionally we've been growing Montepulciano. Yep. It's the northern place where you grow Montepulciano in Italy. And um, I think we make a Montepulciano that is slightly less uh, concentrated, rich, powerful than the brother from the Abruzzo. Yes. Yeah, but I think it's very elegant. It's really it's it's super it's a elegant. Character that, a character that is given by the proximity to the sea, yeah. the intensity of the light, the breeze in the summer, the, the 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 milder temperature that keeps the wine very elegant. The tannins are terrific. Mm -hmm. It's just so it's so soft and supple. But and at the same time, are there? No, they are. Yeah, they're, 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 they're there, they're but exactly they're they're dense and soft. Yeah, and they're um, not they're not hard. No, absolutely, they're not green. No, they're not. No, no, no. not at all. No. And what would you like to eat with this wine? I will go with some, uh, okay, I think it's lamb is a perfect match. It's yes. also is part of the, sometimes the tradition. And uh, even if it's quite interesting that is the corner is really by the sea, as I say, that sometimes it's locally consumed with uh, some um, like, like blue fish, yes. grilled uh, and um, fish that there's some f intense flavor and uh, they can go. I think we can close the eyes and uh, and, uh, <laughs> and match it anyway. Yeah, yes. yeah. That's right. Delicious. Is that a new package too, or like in it's a, it's such it's a, a it's it's a particular package because yeah. the, the the four red uh, dots the four red are, dots are uh, they represent a fruit, uh, which is the fruit at the origin. Uh, it's a fruit that, that comes from a from a tree, which is very typical of the Mediterranean forest that covers the Monte Conero, which is a natural park. It's a tree called Corbezzolo. And I never found the translation in uh, in English, but it's huh. um, it's a plant that uh, was uh, called by the ancient Greeks Comaros, and so they called this area Comaro because full of this tree. And then in ancient Italian, the word became Cumaro. That's how we call the wine. And then Comaro. modern Italian yeah. is Conero. Oh. So we represented with the four dots the the fruit that and is given the, uh, the origin of the name. It's good to eat, or uh, of the. Uh, how this, is the uh, it's quite tannic. Yeah. And uh, it ripens in October, it's quite so late in the season. It's yeah. an evergreen tree, and you make we make a fantastic uh, honey from uh, the corbezzolo or marmalade, which is very good for matching with cheese. Wow. Uh, well, just a fantastic yeah. tasting. Thanks so much for that, uh, Michele. Uh, I, I would like to mention that the uh, the three wines we tasted today are all available in British Columbia. Uh, you can buy the Castle de Sierra, the Verdicchio from Umani Rocky. Seventeen ninety nine. They're just giving it away in uh, stores. Such a delicious wine, and a favorite of Tim Pozzi's. I know that because he's he's written about it uh, many times. Uh, and the Plenio, also the single vineyard uh, Verdicchio, is available in uh, private wine stores. It's thirty three ninety nine. And then the Canaro or the Cumaro, as we learned today, yeah. uh, uh, is a sensational wine. Thirty six dollars. I mean, come on, folks. You buy a bottle of Bordeaux, it costs you 500 bucks. You can buy 10, you can buy almost 20 bottles of that for that. Thank you, Tony. Great Thank you nights. Much, Thanks yeah. so much for bringing Thank the wines. Thank you very much. Good to have you back in Vancouver. Enjoy the rest Thank of the you. festival. Uh, I'll do, definitely. And Thank head you. up to Whistler to ski. Michele Bernetti, thanks so much. Uh, and, uh, well, we should thank Dorothy Budden, too. She's working very hard just pouring wines here and organizing uh, her team. Thank uh, you. Enjoy the rest of the day. Thank you. We are live for another half hour here on the Best of Food and Wine. Art, uh, we have a fantastic gift. People are standing around. They should sign up because they can, uh, they, can they buy a painted boat or what do they do? Go sailing in a painted boat or? No, no. the uh, the resort is called Painted Boat. Okay, that's Painted it. Paintedboat.com. Uh, you can win a two-night stay at the Waterfront Villa at the Painted Boat, uh, painted boat Resort Spa and Marina on the Sunshine Coast. And? It includes BC Ferries. And? It includes a deluxe breakfast. And it includes a couple's massage. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. So Casey Wilson got a chuckle boot. out of that. Casey, well, have you I been did. up to the painted boat? I have not been there, You haven't Tony. been to I'd the painted to boat. Okay. I know you're up in that Maybe region Maybe we could go lot. up there and get a couple's massage. I think so. Or, or a couple of massages. That's yeah, what that I would go for. That sounds yeah. better. Okay. Uh, stick around. You're listening to the Best of Food and Wine. We're on Seattle, 6.50 a.m. We'll be here until 4.30, and then we're back tonight live at 7 o'clock for another two hours to wrap up the 38th Vancouver International Wine Festival. 60 wineries from Italy alone, 155 from around the world. We'll be right back. 
three things you need to do at the 2016 Vancouver International Wine Festival. One, visit the theme region of Italy. Two, visit the best of food and wine stage inside the theme region. And three, enter the win at the two-night stay in a waterfront villa at Painted Boat Resort Spa and Marina on the Sunshine Coast. Winner announced 9 p.m. Saturday. Italian is as easy as 1-2-3 with CIL 650.